Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're staying in a Butlins Deluxe Lodge and I'm going to take you on a tour around and show you what they're like. There are only three lodges and they sell out very quickly. They're next to the Shoreline Hotel on the outer edge of the resort looking over the sea. Each lodge has its own car parking space. As we step inside you can see the open plan lounge kitchen diner layout. It's really spacious and most of it looks like it's been newly refurbed with nice decor. From this side you can see a bit more of the kitchen and the lovely views out of the window. It's all double glazed and there are heaters in every room. There's plenty of storage space for six people in the kitchen. We've got a microwave, kettle, toaster, oven and fridge. I've opened the cupboard so you can see what's inside them. Cups and glasses in the upper cupboards. On this side are the plates and bowls. Underneath are the pots and pans. More storage. Fridge with ice compartment above it. We've been given a small refreshments pack with tea bags, coffee and little milks. And a washing up kit. With tea towel, cloth, sponge and washing up liquid. Cutlery drawer. Utensils drawer. And even more storage. Fire extinguisher and fire blanket. Very useful if I decide to cook something. Fair size TV, which has options for Netflix and such, but I couldn't get it to connect to the Butlin's Wi-Fi. There's three ceiling lights in the kitchen and another three in the living room, but they're not very bright. I thought the tables and chairs would be nice in a deluxe lodge, but these have definitely seen better days. Looking down the corridor, you have the bunk bedroom here, the open wardrobe there, the twin bedroom there, the main bedroom just here, and the bathroom here. In the smaller twin room, there are two bunk beds and a set of drawers, but no wardrobe. The wardrobe is just outside the room. In the other twin room, we've got two single beds, bedside tables and a wardrobe. And you can see the layout a bit better from this side. In the main bedroom, we've got a double bed with two bedside tables. And from this side, you can see the wardrobe with cupboard space at the bottom, vanity unit and TV. Got a hairdryer and all sorts of attachments at the top of the wardrobe. Good sized bathroom and everything seems bright and clean. There's a shower over the bath, but the water pressure is awful. Outside, there's a veranda with table and chairs, although I'm not sure how anyone is meant to sit at this table unless they're paper thin. But this is a lovely view of Bognor Beach, especially first thing in the morning when the sun is rising. We've really enjoyed staying here, but there are a couple of things that I would change if I was to really nitpick. Firstly, the name Deluxe Lodge. All of the lodges that we've stayed in in the past have had a dishwasher and an ensuite bathroom. Now this one doesn't even have an ensuite toilet and I think if there are six of you staying here that might be a bit of a problem. I would have called them something like beach huts or beach chalets. The thing that's affected us the most is the pathway down to the skyline. There isn't one and this can be a problem especially when it's dark because cars come around that corner really really quickly and the lighting is really poor. Another downside is there are cars going up and down all day long. Anyone who's staying in a gold or a seaside apartment, they have to drive past you to get to their parking. This isn't such a problem at the moment because it's winter, but in the summer I think it would spoil it if you wanted to sit outside and just enjoy a coffee in the sunshine. I'm a light sleeper and I could hear the beat of the music from Reds at night time, but we haven't heard any noise from either of our neighbours and obviously there's no one above us running about. But on the plus side, they're nice and spacious, they're lovely and warm, even on those cold winter mornings, and I would definitely recommend them to anybody. And we've already booked up to stay in one again next year. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, then please give it a like. If you want to see more from me in the future, then click the subscribe button right here. And if you want to see more from me right now, 
why not watch one of my other videos? And don't forget, if you carry on watching, I'll carry on traveling. Bye.